Hello happy people, welcome to this video. In this tutorial, I'm going to try to explain to you every feature in the Astra Pro theme. You go to appearance, you realize that I already have Astra theme. To get this theme, you basically come over here to add new and right here you can search for Astra. Once you search for Astra, then it will show up here, then you can install and activate. So in this case, I'm basically going to activate this theme and uh, once it's active then I'm going to come over here to plugins add new plugin and what I'm going to add is basically a plugin for Astra Pro so when I come over here I will simply come to upload and then browse and I'll come over here and then I'll add on my Astra Pro plugin which is an add-on on top of Astra theme now as our add-on is installing, let's head straight here to Astra. When we come over here to the Astra Pro packages, we see that we have three main packages. And of course these have different pricing based on what you're actually going to get when you get any of these add-ons. But first with the Astra Pro, you will have all the Astra Pro features, 20 plus starter sites. Uh, starter sites are basically already pre-built websites that you basically import into your existing WordPress installation and you have a complete website. On the other hand, you'll have one-on-one -on -one support with Astra support and then extensive training and unlimited website usage. We'll go over here and we'll look into the other features. And then here on the mini agency bundle, you will have the Astra Pro features, which is like what is on the other side, 55 plus agency starter sites one-to-one -one support, extensive training, unlimited website usage. This is an extension built by Astra that uh, helps you to showcase uh, a portfolio on your website, including images and videos. As a separate plugin, it goes for $49. Then you'll have to use one add-on for the page builder. There is Elementor, there is Beaver Builder. Of course, you know I'm an Elementor person. Now, this is the agency bundle which always has a lot of questions. Why is it so different with the other packages? Now, all the other features included, we have these three extensions, which is Convert Pro, which is another plugin also developed by Astra, Schema Pro plugin, and all other features in these other packages. The other thing you need to know is that Astra has a lifetime option to buy the plugin, and for a lifetime, you'll be getting the support and updates for example for the astra pro you can get it for around 249 dollars then the mini agency bundle then you will have to buy it for around 499 dollars and the agency bundle you'll have to buy it for around 600 699 bucks now the difference between these two bundles the major ones are one the extensions that you're going to have however like the features the Astra Pro features are all the same in all the Pro, in all the packages. And for example, you'll also have a difference in the starter size that you'll get. However, those are the main, main features. If you basically want to build your website and you don't want to spend $6,000 paying a, a designer or a developer to get your website up, you may simply grab an Astra Pro bundle. Uh, it's a better deal for you if you are just getting... Uh, an online presence however if you have uh, an agency or, or an agency where you're going to be building sites for a couple of other people and uh, running a business then astra pro uh, a mini agency bundle or agency bundle is the way to go the good thing with a mini agency bundle is that you only have the option to select one page builder and if that is what you're going to focus at building with however the other on the other hand the agency bundle you will have to uh, you have the option to use all the available page builders that includes beaver builder and elementor how do you get this astra pro uh, add-on you basically have to come over here get started and then you can purchase any of these packages you want i kindly request you to use my affiliate link which is go to qg for slash astra and by using my affiliate link you're not charged any extra back but i receive a commission on a purchase that you make at no extra cost to you and that way i can keep making these tutorials anyway let's now head back straight to our dashboard we have our pro add-on that we installed we are going to activate once it's activated now it's under here in the plugins so we have the 
Astra Pro. So we simply just click over here on the settings option and right here Astra will show you the available Astra Pro modules. You can choose to activate all or deactivate all at the same time. Looking through this here we have the colors and background, we have the typography, spacing, blog pro, mobile header, header sections, menu, nav menu, sticky header, page headers, custom layouts, site layouts, footer widgets, scroll to top, WooCommerce actually needs the WooCommerce plugin installed, easy digital downloads plugin installed, Landash installed, Lifter LMS installed and, and then we are good to go. However, we can also extend Astra with free other plugins like the import and export customizer settings, Astra customizer reset, Astra search. These are not part of the, uh, the pro, but I mean, we can still extend our theme. So now let's go back here and look into, for example, we can activate all of this by simply clicking activate all. So once they are all activated, we are going to come over straight here to our customizer and the customizer is going to take us straight to the area where we can make changes to our header, colors, typography, spacing, and a lot more other options that come along with Astra, the free version, and Astra Pro. So once we are inside our customizer, now we are going to look into one, the sticky header. So we come back to customizer, come to header, and then we have the option here for the sticky header. And uh, once you are here, then we can choose how to display a sticky header on our website. We can make the primary header to be a sticky header, for example, by enabling it here. And we enable it also on the desktop version. You realize that when we scroll now, our header is sticking to our window. Cool. So that's how the sticky header option works like in the pro version of Astra. Uh, we will go now and look into the option for, for example, the page headers. When we go back to the dashboard of our website and then we come under appearance, we have the option for page headers. And right here we can start creating page headers for our, for different pages of our website, for example, by clicking add new. Then here we can choose uh, what type of header that we want to create for example maybe we are creating a header for the FAQ pages section then we can choose to display a header which is uh, a page header which is center aligned then we can also choose to have a page header which is inline and a page header with no header once you select the type of page header you want to create over here you can choose either to have the display you can choose either to display the breadcrumb you can choose also the title color of that specific header the background size the background colors and a lot more on the other hand we can also create mega menus using astro pro and to do that you basically come over here to menus and right here we can select any of the menu item here where you want to show a mega menu by clicking here on the drop down and then we can say Astra menu options and right here we can enable a mega menu for this specific Astra menu item and then we can even set a background color we can override colors for this mega menu we can highlight labels we can choose the mega menu width we can set it to be to container or menu container with or full width of the whole container that goes back to you on how you want to create it but i've also created a tutorial on how to create mega menus using astra and i'm going to link it up here in the card or in the description below so yeah be sure to check that out and uh, follow it on how to create uh, mega menus using your astra pro add-on on the other hand there is also the option for the, uh, the colors and typography for example when we are here in our theme customizer you realize that we have here on the global settings we have the colors and typography options enabled and we can choose from different types of font forces for the body and content and also we can make changes on our heading fonts from the font family to different heading types for example that heading one heading two heading three and then heading four heading 5 up to heading 6. For example, you can say I want heading 3 to be 22 in the font size 
and you can specify that it has a very different font from all the other headings or or you can simply choose to inherit the font that you chose for the base typography the other option we can look into the site layouts we have the boxed full width padded fluid layout and the spacing control and that is simply under here which is container and we have the site layout so we have the max layout the max width layout padded layout and the fluid layout and we can still choose a number of layouts for different pages and blog posts and uh, archive layouts for our website you can even choose to decide how wide your website will be by changing here by just scrolling over here on this knob and choosing the different size of canvas that you want your website to run on and then uh, still under the global option we can choose uh, buttons for the different sections of our wordpress website the styling and all that and this option actually is also available in the free version of astra and then the scroll to top option which is only available in the pro version of astra so you simply just click over here and we can choose to display a scroll to top either on a mobile or desktop version of our website and we can also choose on which side that scroll to top should be the icon size the border radius and the icon color so let me just show you how that looks like you see we have already one here scroll to top boom so here we can choose how our above header option will look like we can set that the first section which is this section we can choose to have a text or stock html and this is where and this is where you feed in all that information and right below here you can uh, select on different widgets that you want to appear in the first section the same we can do on the second section which is this other section up here you can say i want to have uh, a search in this case it was selected to be a search and you want it to slide which is the style of that search for example when i search it here when i click on it here it slides right within the window and the other options you can just set them up right here as you wish also on the other hand the below header we can choose and say we want our below header to have two sections like the first section and then also maybe to have just one uh, section it's very similar to how the above header section was and you can assign several sections you know from you can choose not to have anything either you just have a menu a search text stock html or basically show a widget and if we go to your menu settings right here you can choose and say we want to display this menu on our above header or on our below header and this is where it becomes very advantageous because if you choose and say uh, on our below header we are going to use a menu and it will echo straight up here the menu that you selected to appear on the below header option uh, once we have that set up now we are going to go straight and look into the blog uh, we have here the different layouts for our blogs and this is one of the other beauties of the astra pro add-on you can have uh, one the layout one which is full then the other layout which which has both the text and the sidebar and then the other layout which whereby the sidebar is on the left and you can choose to have a grid uh, or for example you want just one column two columns three columns or even four columns you can add space between the posts you can even remove a featured image padding for your different block elements so and all these are options here right down here for you to choose from including the typography and the spacing for your elements on the blog archive when we go straight to the single posts nothing much here changes you have the author info but here the most interesting is here the auto load previous posts if you are scrolling right down a blog post automatically the older blog post will, will show up and here you have your visitor read the previous post that we are published on your wordpress website with that said those are some of the major options that will come right with your astra pro add-on the other integrations that like the learning management system and woocommerce you'll have to install woocommerce easy digital downloads learn dash lifter elements so that you can also have the options in the customizer for these plugins or extensions anyway that is a slight look into the astra pro uh, features that i think can also bring you a lot of value if you have astra pro it will save you a lot from buying a lot more other extensions just to build a single wordpress website 
anyway that's it all uh, in case you have questions or if you want a specific tutorial on one of these features in, in the astra pro bundle please feel free to let me know i'll be happy to maybe make a specific tutorial on any of this however i'm going to link tutorials for specific modules that i've already made on my tutorial down below in the description please feel free to use the links in the description below to get started building your website using the astra pro bundle anyway thank you so much for watching if you have any comment questions feel free to drop them down in the comment box below i'll be happy to read them and i'll close this up i'll wait for your comments suggestions and see you in the next video